Hello and welcome back to Atomic Heart. Uh, yeah. Uh, what did we do last time? <laughs> Stuff. Uh, we went to the Dream World, didn't we? Was that two times ago? I don't even remember. I have this memory. Um, I think so. Wasn't that what we did? Um, yeah. Let's just grab a bunch of health. I'll uh, leave a few spots open for ammo stuff. Probably a good idea. Alright, yeah, and then I went to. I found a random little location with a bit of bars. I was also thinking there. Yeah. <coughs> and I guess we go to the lighthouse? Sure. That's what we do. Going up. Heal. Even though I was trying to switch weapons because I always forget that it's not down. Like the menu is like up and down, but it's left and right. It's kind of odd when you think about it. Whatever. I mean, maybe you can change it in the controls if you really want to, but I guess it's fine that it's up and down. But it's left and right to switch weapons. I mean, you can also just hold square, it's fine. <coughs> Waiting on the elevator. Jeez. Come on. Quite a long one. There we go. <coughs> oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I got to this beach of sorts. I want to go what down. Can I grab from here now? That's a good question. Hopefully. Because, uh, yeah, there's a barrier over the there. Can't swim past. Mm hmm. What are these <coughs> I guess I have to go all the way around and back up. Fair enough. Oh. I see you there. I don't have time for you. My mission. Just gonna get back up. There we go. Is that a camera I can use? That one seems a bit broken. Yeah. I don't know. <coughs> we'll just walk. Uh, are you aggressive? No. That's good. Alright, yeah, I went through there again. Like, this is where I got up. Right? Then I went that way. Because if I wanted to, <laughs> I guess. But you were supposed to go this way after all. I had a gun shield. It was just. I don't know. Ow. Oh, oh, hey. Um, what are you doing here, buddy? Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Crazy ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. Well, it is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said? Well, um, it's kind of bad. I don't have a lot of ammo. Here's my recent uh, boss encounter. So, hopefully, I can do this. Ow. Okay, so.
And I hope. Got four whole bullets. I'm gonna have to rely on my shotgun. I mean, five freezing, but. I mean, it doesn't really work against bosses. Can I just stand still for a while? I mean, I appreciate it. But. Bit odd. This is gonna not go well for me. Look at all the health. Is there anywhere with bullets? Oh, uh, now that's happening. Oh, Oh jeez. Uh, why am I stuck? What the hell? And I'm out. I'm totally out. Yes, we melee. Ow. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's new. I don't know if it's better to just swing like crazy. Charge it up. For a charge. It really does give you this spike very fast though, that's something. Oh yes. Oh okay, I, I think the tentacles stopping me from leaving, that's what was happening before. Got it. Ow. Yeah, take. Ow. Okay, I need to leave. Ah, like a jump to get you or something. Hey. No. Hey. Stand there forever, please. Okay, almost done now. Just keep rolling. There we go. Sheesh.
Oh okay. god. No thanks. I need to go that way. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very gooby. Alright. Let's get the stuff. Sheesh. But still out of ammo. Oh boy. That's a bit of a problem. But I will manage, I'm sure. We'll figure things out. Thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Oh, well. Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. Well, then. I mean, just put them in the ocean. Someone dedicated enough could get them. Obviously, I guess they don't know where they are now, but, you know. Still. Didn't destroy them, destroy them. Just toss them. But hey. Guess it's good enough. Oh. Hmm? Crap, what a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's Europolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelemay, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Philatopo. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. Hmm. This might end up in the way to go. <laughs> well. Uh, oh god. Actually, yeah. Oh god. Ow. Damn it. Yes. Ah, crap. Why do go that way though? But not really. Yeah. It's fine. We'll just go back. No, Don't slip. Lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. Ah, well, they told me that my... My... My lighthouse was gonna be ripped out of the ground and brought from Sakhalin to Kazakhstan. 
time by the robots. Well, uh, I figured they were drunk. Huh. But nope. It's thousands of kilometers away from the ocean now. Like, uh, you see them, exhibit. And I'm here, too. Like another exhibit. Now, sure, I got a raise. Sure, I barely have to do any work. The machines, the machines do everything. Lighthouse and I are just a confirmation that humanity can do whatever it wants. But what the fuck are they guarding with all those flying guns everywhere? Huh? Mm, okay. So that's when uh see if there's anything up here though. Some scribbles. Hmm. Not fine art, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just some stuff we can get if we want. Oh, got a few bullets though, that's too good. That's good. Uh, oh, uh, down. That's where I want to be. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspected this room has a specific function. Hmm. Sit. acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Uh, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechunov asked you to return to Chelomel. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing kid with her. Uh oh, going fast again. Oh, it's fine this time. Oh, hey, there we are. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way, too. But that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Mm, I've got questions. <clears throat> Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the radio of the future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... Hmm. 
How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Dropus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. Only Sechenov can revoke my access. And he's got his hands full right now. And I'm no threat to him. Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure, fine. Come on, I won't waste your time. Okay, lead on. Are you ready? Disable polarization. Oh. Did I oh, is this place a haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. going that's not creepy at all uh the fat guy tell him to jump he could use just it. him why don't i make them all jump after all we all live in a communist society god damn you jump hmm. this is insane why do you people even do this shit No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. Hmm. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. <sighs> the boss would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov. After what you just showed me. Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. <laughs> A man has to be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Mm. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, 
I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything, and... you know the rest. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. Fine, moving on. The Tessa is not leaving limbo. Inject your Hey, Major. Mm. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. You won't, research. You won't even remember a thing. Mm. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No, thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but... Victor... No other outcome was possible. It... It wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Time to get stuck. That's what I do. I get stuck. Something about that creepy place. Delete. Uh, Comet Sivokin will no longer be under surveillance. The man is no longer moving anyway, so I say let him head back to his precious Moscow if he wants. Miracles may are, but you do have him. The holidays are coming up anyway. Long distance microphone recording copy. Recording of a conversation between D. Sitinov and V. Petrov. Been appended to this message at M. Stockhouse's request. Play. It's always a bit weird. Collective's control interface has to be reconfigured so it can only control robots. I won't allow this device to be used to control human minds. Victor, we're men of science. There's no room at the facility for emotions or politics. Follow your order. Listen, Comrade Sechnov, I don't have a problem with a certain wise intellect setting the course for all mankind. What I do have a problem with is who you see in the role of Demiurge. So this is about personal relations. Well, whoever told you you were the worthiest of the worthy, huh? Who put you in charge of history? Do you think you're better than everyone else? I see that all that romantic melodrama at the theater has had a real effect on you. Shall I assume you're refusing a direct order? Yes, I am. Now what? Are you going to kill me? Victor, I don't know what you think of me, but I would never stoop to something so, well, something so primitive. Hmm. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm so sick of these gut. 
damn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh, crap. Now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction. A side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer club. It doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod polymer extension? The Voshod polymer extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am Charles. Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. Huh. State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name, Charid and Zahara. Code, Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. Hmm. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, mm. we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Dead. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radianovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Oh. Let's go. Welcome, Charitin Zahara. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. 
Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Okay, I'm out Naskin. Naskin. It's a bit cool, mommy. I get it. Naskin is a pain, but this is unprofessional. Why did you actually go to the supervisor? I even was. Uh, set enough. I mean, was set enough and starts talking about how his work is magically cataloging itself. <clears throat> then when they see who's doing it all and find out it's just an easy prank, what are you going to tell them? That Naskin seduced you and Gagba and wouldn't marry you? So you started sabotaging the lab? You need to stop. If anyone asks me about this, I won't cover, it, cover for you. It's happening again. I'm serious, baby, it's happening again. My castle is splitting up and restructuring themselves on their own. I'm, I measured it. I got that spreadsheet. I think the entire archive is operating like a collective, only separately. But we accidentally create a self-learning system that can think and make decisions. I mean, with all the other insane stuff going on here, does that really sound that crazy? I'm going to try to run a reverse Turing test on it. I have a step in 72 hours, if I, but if I'm right, I'm gonna get a promotion. P.S. Sorry again about what, ha what happened last winter. Archive conversation. Uh, agents, Blastna and Plutonium are extremely valuable employees. Saving their lives is top priority. I will perform the operation myself. Congratulations. I have our facility management and myself personally. I would like to congratulate you all on a magnificent beginning to this reporting period. Our close-knit team has proven yet again that the, that the spirit of Kamara Camaraderie, camaraderie and efficient teamwork can yield stunning results. Got to the formation, it is my pleasure to announce that this month every archive employee will receive a bonus and in the interest of enlightenment, everyone will also receive complimentary tickets to director Les Tuskin's theatrical performance. Content venue for details. See you, comrades. Are you willing to die? Then you're a man. Speaker. This despite my progress, my fact remains. Flying to the red planet is a risky dangerous proposition. Uh reporter. Who are the people who will bring the light of humanity to Mars for us all? Think that the first trips to Mars will be very, very dangerous. The risk of a legal outcome will be high. But give help. You want to die? Then you're a man. How do you describe the mission? I think it's the most inspiring thing I could possibly imagine. Life should be something more than just solving everyday problems. When you wake up in the morning, you should think about the future with ecstasy. You should feel inspired and love life. Short-sightedness. At your request, I have reviewed the compilation of absurd quotations from Bourgeois figures that have been utterly trounced by progress and Soviet science. 1876. This telephone has too many shortcomings and to be seriously considered as a means of communication. Liam Morton, President of Western Union. The Americans have need of the telephone, but we do not. We have plenty of messenger boys, so Billy and Price, Chief Engineer of the British Post Office. 1889. Uh, fooling around with alternative currents just a waste of time. Nobody's ever used it. Too dangerous. Thomas Edison. Get rid of it. We don't need to make fun of Edison. Uh, 1921. The wireless music box has no measurable commercial value. Who would pay for a, me for a message sent to nobody in particular? David Sarnoff's partners in response to his request to invest in the radio mentioned that the radio was invented by Alexander Popov. Uh, it's a lot of these, huh? Alright, I'll read them all. Fine. 1926. My theoretically and technically, television may be feasible, commercially and financially it is an imp impossibility. B.D. Forrest. Good of it. I don't care about commercial financial success. 
1942 there's no places whatsoever and wish to suggest that nuclear power will all be possible I mean that man has learned to split that I'm about Einstein let me go but make sure I've actually said it otherwise it'll be like his riddle <coughs> 1946 I will never be able to leave the Earth's atmosphere New York time this one is simply magnificent the very first issue 1946 uh, the working man always has been and always will be, but the robot is nothing but a flash in the pan. Henry Ford. Television won't be able to hold on to any market it captures after the first six months. We will soon get silence, staring at a plywood box every night. <coughs> Devil Sanuk, producer and one of the founders of 20th Century Fox. Not sure about this one, the populist yet until the party sorts out its relationship to entertainment programming. 1949. A little like ENIAC, the first computer today is equipped with 18,000 uh, vacuum tubes and weighs 30 tons. Computers in the future may only have 1,000 vacuum tubes and perhaps weigh only 1.5 tons. Popular mechanics. Good, but translate the name Popular Mechanics in Russia instead of leaving it in English. In English. Blah. 1951. There's a particular that is practically no change. Communication space satellites will be used to provide better telephone, telegraph, television, or radio service inside the United States. T. Craven, FCC Commissioner. Underscore the fact that maybe they can't do it, but we sure can. There's no reason, uh, 1955, whatever. There's no reason for any really little to have a computer at in the home. You can also find off a digital in equipment cop. Oi, it's a lot here. An unknown feat. Audrey Wayanowski's unknown feat. Draft of an article. <coughs> for a long time, for a long time, Audrey Wayanowski's name was spoken of with contempt and display in Soviet scientific circles. As a capitalist and idealist who fled the Soviet Union and a vocal critic of the party's authority and ideas of communism, it was obvious that a good relationship with him was simply impossible. However, later, when Mayanovsky tellingly grew delusioned with American ideals, his rhetoric changed and his relationship to the motherland changed along with it. Because without saying that this, led, this move led to a hue and cry in the West and genuine glee in Mayanovsky's homeland. Nowadays, it's oh, not Audrey, it's Andrew. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, Audrey? But it's, it's, you know, won't, you know, say it, it sounded like a permanent name. I was a little confused for a bit, but yeah, it's Andrew. That makes a lot more sense. Anyway, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, now, Andrew Wayanowski's successfully developed his deep sea dwelling project with the aid of underwater engineers from Sakhalin and is considered a true friend of the Soviet science and facility 3826. Oh, he does a lot. <laughs> Thanks for all the fish. Uh, needless to say, large scale projects to conquer outer space and colonize planets are laudable and worth respect. But it's always space for the stars. Let's be honest. Let me out there. Space cold. Empty in the inhospitable place without any hidden mysteries. All that waits us there are resources and the satisfaction of mankind's ego. You know. <coughs> Our home is not a matter entirely. I'm moving to the Earth, more precisely the ocean. We know less about the depth of the ocean than we do the dark side of the moon. According to the available data, only 2-5% of the world's oceans have been explored. Evolution can't help us in space, but underwater can reveal our true potential. In this article, you will learn about the potential benefits of exploring and conquering the ocean. To put it bluntly, bluntly what is the point of flying to the far reaches of space when our own home is more serious than any other planet? After conversation 38. Mikhail, I've been receiving very uh, big reports about what's been going on at the feeder. Even a portion of what my informants have been telling me is true, I would like to conduct a certain experiment. Give them free reign and curtail any security measures. I want to know if the Soviet facility employees can be capable of more failings. <coughs> After two months, finding an excuse for us to visit the place. Tell them my love has achieved amazing results and we want to celebrate it. Might be a piece. I want to see this with my own eyes. Illusion? No, revolution. Time has come to acknowledge that we are uh, carry, carrying, careening, 
Yeah, careening into the future at an amazing speed. A scientific machine is running full capacity, and the most talented Soviet citizens are working day and night to advance the cause of progress. But what of revolution? It remains in the distant past. The 1917 revolution demonstrated that it was possible to tear down the old and erect the new in its place. Same goes for the crepid, monarchistic, phenomenon. Phenomenon. Why can't I say that right now? Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Whatever. Of a revolution. Jesus Christ. I've been waiting too much. <coughs> and now man is not just a freedom of creation, but a creator himself. And he has the ability and the right to hold himself in accordance with his desires. Gills for divers, wings for the for first responders, flame with and skin for firemen. This is just the first sample of what awaits us in the near future. We are no longer quest for the middle of natural selection. We are natural selection. Become a signal lecture in the Soviet Academy of Sciences. 1953. Oh dear. So much to read. And so much stuff to get to. This one here. Uh, auspicious timeline. Not of the current auspicious tendencies. We expect the following for the mental bike crews in the near future. I'm not gonna meet the, num the, the years, I don't feel like saying a whole year's time. You can see the year. Much better use of low temperature nuclear reactions and of the oil and gas era probability 97%. Full fledged human cloning probability. I'm not gonna say the probability, I don't. This is, yeah, you get it. <coughs> Transport of Martian salt to Earth, last coal mine closed, and the stack cardinal phage, whatever that means. How do you say that? All planets united by a single little communication network. Construction of nuclear weapons. For the space hotel and space tourism. Space tourism? Oh god. <coughs> Money no longer used in the Soviet Union, allied nations, and a number of Western countries. Currency replaced with megawatt hours as a unit of exchange in USA. Uh, conversation. Uh, reply in the Nylons. Hemlock is demonstrating a great deal of activity within Anna's body, but it's not ready to reproduce yet. As for her husband, I want you to fully exploit his potential. We cannot lose staff members. From the day of operations, has put him in the hospital room under surveillance. The experiment is too unique. There's only one way we, the bike can reproduce. If it doesn't, we'll have to start it all over again. In a special timeline, light of the current is Species tendency we expect the following threats in the near future. Spike in criminal activity due to the increased free time among citizens. A uh, large social and economic rift between robotized and non robotized countries and the appearance of outcast countries. Uh, growth, growth of uh, nationalistic attitudes among minorities as well as the drive for revenge and the denial of pan human values. Increasing epi epidemiological threats, whatever, of population in outcast countries, shrinking populations in advanced countries, such as European countries, the USSR, and China. Uh, breakdown of educational system, degradation of the humanities, and segmentation in technical specif specializations. Whoa, that's a lot of, a lot of long words. <laughs> Good lord. <coughs> uh, decreased aptitude for education, short attention spans, and a focus on small doses of information among the populations of advanced countries. Increased religiosity, religiosity, whatever, religious fundamentalism and terrorism. Extreme repression, repression in progressive countries, reduction in the speed of which laws are passed, increased authority in forced laws, and opposition to freedom of thought among citizens. Collapse of industry due to technological malfunctions and all those properties. Oh my god, all those are properties, potentials, you know what I mean. Oh my god, you forced me to read a lot. That one here. I want to read them all. That's what I do. 
Final letter. Hypothetically speaking, thanks to today's discovery, I sort of mentally by photon quantum in entanglement, I can actually send this letter into the past, say 30 years ago. Uh, hmm, yeah, it is in 1984. Okay. <coughs> um, to myself at this right terminal, for example, I can write a message to myself dated June 9, 1955, saying, Man, do I always have revolver to save yourself? What's the latest theory? We actually quite far from actually communicating with the pair, so I'll have to carry the memory of that day until my death 30, 30, 63 years from now. Wow. After the incident, plutonium's brain was no longer suitable for a spark polymer extension. So I designed a similar polymer-based brain function extension for him called Voschod. Cheriton, may he rest in peace, would be pleased to hear that his designs had not been wasted. Hmm. The real 500. Plutonium is recovering following normal adjustment and isolation of the Watskov module. He has no memory of his five dimensional for carrier or any of the other data you indicated. He is in an extremely tenuous psychological and emotional state. <coughs> As an active Argentum, Argentum agent, he is already fit for duty, awaiting your orders. P.S. Unfortunately, during a key phase of the adjustment, Employee expressed sympathy with the agents, describing them as returning from their ordeal as crispy critters. This phase has since become an extensible part of the agent's psychometric and emotional background. If necessary, we could perform an adjustment in order to fix this linguistic oddity, but it would take time. Hmm. So it's. So that phrase. Somehow very important to us in an art sense. Our yeah, of our past and everything and stuff and things and whatnot. Hey, I saw this one. Uh, no, creepy. I've seen it. I left two devices on our night and and Fisa and the lighthouse. We will use them to test speed space into system communication protocols. I wanted them to just exchange faces and keep going based on the progressive Turing method. Yeah, the results. It's pretty creepy. I'll probably just write about them tonight. Clicking. Why is it always like that? Oh. Gotta use the mouse, I guess. to think about all the names and terms come about naturally just like slang. But now here are the orders regarding articles. You see the following terms Instagram or Soyum Soyus Soyus system. Unified information field that can be accessed via a computer terminal slide. You know that information space in the system. How to use the term page and any sequences. They're not professional. <coughs> Application. 
A small program requires the user access to a certain function. Do not use the following term. Social networks. Soviet users do not have access to any networks. Socialists or otherwise. Come with, some, 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 come up with something clearer. Glitch. What kind of word is this anyway? Sounds like nonsense. Use error, malfunction, or some other normal word. Stylus. Keep seeing this buckler for Latin word. Use pen or light pen instead. Submit to the archive. By the sign, the latest Android module models. We have had to focus not only on utilitarian tests but also on commercial liability. Our products are exported all over the world and need to look and feel like something from the Soviet Union. Otherwise, we need to focus on what Americans call the sign. We spent a long time discussing which elements will be the most recognizable when it comes to the workers' names, design, function, etc. And all these ballerinas, Natasha's, and such started coming up. Everything from a robot's appearance to its quality to screen made in the USSR. <coughs> Arc Station 25. Uh, I think that's attention. Equipment manager. Provide me with two prototype ballerina bodies and disconnect them from the new network. Delete the AI modules. Need two playing robots without any control systems. Incorrect terms. Uh, Comet Yep, stick and I ever. <laughs> it's like they're attempting to make it hard to say it and every time. I don't know how common these kind of names are in Russia, but like, what am I even. How am I even supposed to be able to say that? It's not anywhere close to a name I recognize. Anyway, I've been seeing more slummy use of the terms in our publication again. Remember, a robot is a general term for any ma manufacturing mechanism based on robotics. It's an automatic device designed to perform various mechanical operations and that act according to the previous established program. An Android is a human robot with various functions. Keep an example every robot that can communicate with an Android. Please be more mindful of this. The term bio robot has been prohibited to come much of himself and may not be used in any way. Words like automaton, doll, and machine have no place in our publications. <coughs> Uh, so I'm kind of at the time limit. Well, I say time limit. I can go however I want, but I don't want to go on now when I can. Um, don't know how to say. It. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't, cause you know, uh, I can just go through all this stuff again. Like, but yeah, there's clearly more terminals and stuff. Like, what would you? Go to you and whatnot, like. Uh. Bring the a record. I guess this one there, like. Yeah. Um. Small terminals to look at and whatnot, like. I just kinda wanna. Take that. Do that next time. And, uh. And yeah, yeah. Cause, like, look at all, look at all these. Here's oh. another one. This is a record anyway. Poppin'. Um. Yeah. Uh. It's fine. It's fine. A lot of stuffy based stuff today, I guess. Like, I mean, a lot of this was also, yeah, reading all this stuff. But yeah. I mean, we put up our set something. So yeah. Uh. That's it for now. See you next time.